We've been using our Ultimaker 2 for over a year now, and in that time we've printed everything from GoPro mounts to RAM storage trays to projectiles for a vacuum cannon. It's an incredibly useful tool, but it has left us wanting. Not being able to print models with complex overhangs, multiple materials or colors, and the need to set up a janky webcam rig to monitor prints when we're away from the office has been frustrating. Then there's the performance issues. The main one that we ran into was with the feeder. The hot motor was too close to the thermally conductive gears, meaning that instead of moving the filament, the gears would also melt the filament. And it's these types of issues that, well, outside of the monstrous cost, are a big part of what's preventing 3D printing from reaching the mainstream right now. Let's see what Ultimaker is bringing to the table with their third generation Ultimaker 3, which they claim makes professional 3D printing accessible. The Be Quiet Pure Base 600 features a versatile design, noise isolation, and is optimized for different liquid radiator configurations. Learn more at the link below. First on Ultimaker 3's laundry list of usability improvements is dual extrusion. Oh my god, I couldn't be more excited for this. Yes, there were ways that you could do it before, but it wasn't made for it. So now we can make stuff like this using two different colors in one model. It's awesome. No more after print modding for this PLA soldier. You can just have the material be the color you desire in the first place, which will not only look better, but will hold up better over time as well. Then there's PVA. Ultimaker PVA is a dissolvable filament. What? Basically, you can use Print Core AA to extrude normal PLA filament plastic stuff, what we've been using for a while now. Then you can hot swap print core BB into the other side of the dual extruder. It has custom nozzle geometry optimized for support materials. In this case, just the stuff I just mentioned. It's PVA. PVA stands for polyvinyl alcohol. It's a water soluble support material that works perfectly alongside dual extrusion printers to help create complex models. Models with large overhangs or even models with deep internal cavities. This incredibly satisfied man demonstrates how you can use PVA alongside PLA to print something amazingly complex. Then just add water and the end result is magic. Inspired, we decided to print our own awesome thing. Tyler found this badass Chinese lion statue that needed support filament, and it worked great. The whole process from dunking it into the water to rinsing it off in the sink, and yes, it is safe to dissolve into tap water and pour down the drain because it's fully biodegradable, it took about two hours. And finally, second on the list, is the printer's much improved accessibility. Instead of just a full-sized SD card slot, which it really should have been USB if you were just gonna have one option, you can now send print jobs over, well, USB type A, a LAN connection on the back of the unit, or even Wi-Fi, which is awesome. In third place, we have the built-in webcam. Its resolution is sorta of garbage, but it's mostly okay. It does what it's supposed to do, allowing you to remotely monitor the print. So sorry if that triggers you or whatever, but you don't need 4K 60 FPS stream just to make sure it's not totally screwed and get on with the rest of your day. To be clear, I'd never say no to high resolution and frame rate, but most print errors are so obvious anyways that you'd probably want to go check it out in person, even if you needed that more resolution. The fourth awesome feature is smart material detection. When you put a material spool or filament spool onto the back of the Ultimaker containing an NFC chip, your printer will read it and handle all of the annoying fine tuning like adjusting print head temperature and bed temperature and other material specific settings. This should help out newcomers in a huge way and even reduce troubleshooting time for experienced users. And on the expert subject, you can of course override those settings if you want. Which leaves us with feature number five, the auto leveling bed. This isn't last because it's unimpressive or anything, there just isn't really a ton to say here. The glass plate, the thing that you print things onto, it auto levels now, which is awesome because manually leveling it was tedious. So it just does it itself now. I'm repeating myself at this point, that's probably fine. So in conclusion, 
The overall quality of the final product when printing a single filament model that's within the capabilities of both printers, and we tested this by printing a test model with a bunch of different types of geometry on it, gives only a slight edge to the Ultimaker 3, which only stood out because it did a better job with the bridge at the top of the thing. Most improvements are more to do with quality of life, which isn't a criticism, because overall reliability was an obvious point of focus. The ability to print with two different colors, types of materials, or even dissolvable materials is amazing. The complexity and functionality of the tools and widgets that we can build is going to skyrocket. But after that rocket has been flying for a few hours, well, it's gonna get to the price of this unit. The Ultimaker 3 costs about three times as much as the car that I bought when I turned 16. This is a serious investment, and unlike previous Ultimakers, which seem to be geared towards affluent enthusiasts, I expect only people running some form of business will end up purchasing one of these. Crunchyroll is a site created by anime fans for anime fans, and they offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, just like Dragon Ball Super and Twin Star Exorcist. All of the content on their site is professionally subtitled, and head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus so you can sign up for your 30-day trial for free. If you enjoy the many benefits of premium, like 1080p streaming, getting new episodes of shows straight from Japan within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices like your phone, tablet, console, PC, whatever, you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 a month. So again, head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. If this video sucked, get the dislike button. If it was awesome, like it, get subscribed, comment, say really nice things about my wonderful hair, which I didn't look in the mirror this morning. I have no idea what it looks like. I'm gonna do this. There we go. Also, check out this video up here, which is a video that Brandon has hosted recently. And uh, check the links down below to go to our forum and discuss things about this video, like 3D printers and other fun stuff. And check out where you can buy shirts. This sweater is not currently for sale, but Sorry about that, but there's other shirts that we have, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time.